The holidays can be a time when Las Vegas seniors really struggle. For years, Meals on Wheels has made getting food easier for them. But Fox 5's Enkirika Azuka is live at Catholic Charities with how the volunteer organization has had to adjust during the pandemic. Yeah, John, every week over 2,000 seniors get their food thanks to these Meals on Wheels truck every week. But since the pandemic happened, how they get their food and the interaction they have with their drivers has changed. But tonight, one senior says those deliveries are about much more than food, especially now. It's me again. It's like I told everybody. I have a lot of moms and dads and grandpas and grandmas. Shamika Clements has been a Meals on Wheels delivery driver for Catholic Charities for two years. I have 375 of them that I see per week. I think of them like family. They're not just my clients. Yes, ma'am. Clements says she's the only person many of her clients get to see. A lot of them, their siblings are passed on. Their children are too far away. Their grandkids don't visit. But when the pandemic hit, social distancing forced her to make changes. Because many of them are high risk, she wasn't allowed to see them anymore. A lot of them didn't understand. Why can't you come in? You're my friend. You're here every week. I know you. I trust you. Phone calls took the place of sit-down conversations. Food is now usually left on the porch. But there are some exceptions. Every week, this is a blessing. We're like soul sisters. Veronica Galati is legally blind. Because of her condition, Clements can come inside and put the food away. Galati says she's happy to have the human contact after she was hit hard by the stay-at-home orders. I started to feel lethargic, and I didn't understand it, because even though I can't see and move about as well, my, my thoughts are always going, you know? I'm always thinking. For your Thanksgiving dinner. While things are different, Clement says she's grateful to work such a rewarding job, especially during the holiday season, which can be a lonely time for seniors. You try to talk to them and try to comfort them and say things are gonna get better. When in reality, I don't even know if they're gonna get better, but I still have to be that smiling face. Now, Clement says, if you're not able to see your elderly family members this holiday, keep them in mind. Be compassionate, be respectful, and treat them with dignity. And she says a phone call goes a long way. Reporting live in Kirikazuka, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.